We have live team coverage of these road conditions and cold temperatures. ABC 17's Victoria Bragg is in Columbia on Interstate 70 tonight with the ABC 17 Storm Tracker. Victoria, you're told crews are prepared for this expected overnight snowfall. Yeah, Dev Lucas, right now my photographer is driving down I-70 East and we've actually drove down I-70 West as well. As you can see, the highway is pretty clear. Now cars are still taking it pretty slow. Cars are still taking it pretty slow out here. Now the city officials have geared up trucks and crews for even more snow coming in overnight. As they say with these cold temperatures we're experiencing, it's hard for them to keep these roads clear. You know, it's been very cold and our chemicals simply don't work. It was eight degrees below zero this morning when I got it. Chemicals don't work at that temperature. Jason Schaefer, an engineer with MoDOT, says crews have been battling the snow since Sunday. Due to temperatures getting below zero, crews have only been able to plow the snow as salt has become ineffective. Schaefer says crews will remain on a day and night rotation as they send out another overnight crew. Boone County Public Works will also send out another overnight crew to treat roads prior to the snowfall coming in. Their morning crew will report in at 7 a.m. to continue treatment, as well as Columbia Public Works road crews, who told me they're concerned with refreezing tonight as their crews prepare for an overnight road treatment. There is a concern with refreezing overnight. Um, with our the sunshine and with traffic on roads, that does help melt the snow on the roads and help with the snowpack. So that is the concern that they, that could refreeze overnight. Jefferson City will have supervisors monitoring road conditions overnight and we'll have a crew with over 24 people reporting in at 5 a.m. to treat roads. Uh, we'll be monitoring it through the night and, and bring them in when it's appropriate. Officials ask for the public's patience in clearing roads as the cold temperatures are making it extremely difficult. And just understand that with these extreme temperatures we've had for days on end now, this is not a typical storm and we're not able to treat it in a typical way and we're not going to get the results in the same amount of time that we have historically. Again, road crews will be out again tonight monitoring road conditions, but they ask if you have to get out tonight, try to stay home if possible. But if you do have to get out, just try to drive with caution as it could still be some slick spots out there and maybe even black ice forming on the roads. Reporting live in Columbia, I'm Victoria Bragg, ABC 17 News. Okay, thanks, Victoria. What a difference 24 hours can make for roads in mid-Missouri. Here's a look at